Good morning, my name is Bill Skelly and I'm the principal of Henninger K-8 and this morning we had a concert with almost 700 violin players and this whole thing was thought up this summer by Mr. Joseph K, our Deputy Superintendent David Haglin and our incredible music teacher Miss Maxson. They knew that my parents wanted to have more arts and enrichment in our school and they approached me with the idea of becoming a Suzuki school. So, here we are in June and this was the fruits of our labor and I must say this shows you what happens when you have teachers that are dedicated to the arts our whole staff bought in and they did everything that they needed to do to prepare our students but really the backbone of the whole thing today was our teacher Miss Maxson but this can not happen without the support of our district office without the support of our board providing arts for our students our students deserve the arts and today was just a culmination of us bringing a little bit of that back as a thank you to our teachers. Thank you, community, for supporting the arts. Boys and girls, I would like to welcome you to our 600 plus Suzuki concert. So thank you for coming out here in such an orderly manner. One great thing that music does is it teaches us how to have manners, how to stand with good posture, and how to follow directions. So on behalf of myself and Ms. Maxson, I would like to thank everybody for doing that. Padres, bienvenidos a venir a este concierto. Hace un año tenemos una junta con los padres, y los padres están diciendo que ellos quieren más enrichment y más música en las clases. So about a year ago, we had an LCAP meeting. And during the LCAP meeting, we asked input from parents about things that they would want at our school. And one of the things that came out, number one, was our parents wanted more enrichment. They wanted more music for the students. So, parents, esta es una presentación de toda la música que tenemos aquí en Henninger. So, I just want you to know that the things that you guys ask, we try to provide. So, at this time, I would like to thank you for asking for music. One other thing I would like to say is during this whole procedure, and I'll talk about Ms. Maxson afterward, but all of our teachers had to change the way things do, from having violins in the hallway to making sure their classes are ready for Ms. Maxson, for um, storing things, for practicing. So at this time, Padres, podemos hacer aplauso para todos los maestros para su trabajo con los estudiantes. So I don't know what the Guinness Book of World Record is for a violin uh, performance for uh, an elementary school, but I am sure we are very, very close to it. So boys and girls, thank you for coming out in an orderly manner, and I present La Maestra, Miss Maxi! Henniger All Stars, Ant Song, Bows Down. Zip, Step, Out, Statue of Liberty. Counterclockwise, land on your shoulder, heads up. Reach for the stars with that favorite pinky and find your skinny string. It's the E string. everyone we are going to say the song for our wonderful families
draw rest. Pose up. Round bow hands. Bend your thumb. We're going to wait for Grandma. Don't start till Grandma land on G. Sticky bow. later, second graders later, fourth graders pick up your bows later, and fifth, third, fourth, and fifth, you're going to pick up your bows at the end. Zip, step, out, statue, counter, land, heads up, pinky up, reach for G. Find your right shoe.
And now, parents, our final song is the Twinkle Variations, featuring Santa Anna, High School, Dr. Suzuki, Down Pony, Up Pony, Wish I Had a Motorcycle, and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the A string. Penninger All Stars, Zip. First grade, second grade, bows in rest position. And step. Out. Statue of Liberty, counterclockwise. Looking great. Land on that shoulder. Chin on that jaw rest. Check your bows. Very good. Upper grades, third grades, check those thumbs. Ready for that F sharp. Fourth grade, fifth grade, left hand thumb. Land on your A string.
ready, slow. Outstanding boys and girls, rest position. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce and just thank quickly our ambassadors. Raise your hand, ambassadors. All right, hands down, raise your hand when I call your name. Joan Carrasco, Haro Rosales, Aileen Avellaneda, Christian Gomez, Alexandra Samala, Joanna Sanchez, Edwin Melgarejo, Brenda Garcia, Cecilia Campos, Noemi Calderon, Valeria Montoya, Guadalupe Calderon, Ricardo Garnica. Congratulations to our ambassadors. thank everybody from parents who have beautiful children to the teachers who teach these beautiful children thank you teachers I have leaned on you and worked with you all year I appreciate you so much to Mr. Skelly for getting this on the road and for Mr. Joseph K to conceive of it and think of it and dream it and plan it to our music teachers that are here music teachers raise your hand Mr. Halverson Mrs. Shermer, Mr. Maxson, Mr. Villafonte. And then I'd also want to thank everyone at Henninger School who lent a hand in this fabulous production, but the majority of the applause goes to you, fabulous Henninger All-Stars. Thank you, boys and girls, for an outstanding concert. Mr. Stokes. Um, a couple of people showed up uh, before we started playing that I would like to recognize. Uh, Roxana Owings, if you can just raise your hand. Roxana is in charge of our music program, and she played a giant role in ordering the violins and making sure we got all the support that we needed. Uh, I would also like to thank all the help that we get from Santa Ana High School, Joseph K. and Victor de los Santos. Um, they have done many things to make sure that you guys have the violins, the bows, and the carts in your hands. So if we can give them a round of applause. And one person I always forget, but she's kind of the backbone of the school, is if we can give Miss Martinez a hand for taking care of all of these little things that add up to a giant, giant uh, support in our school. So for Miss Martinez. Um, I also wanted to thank our PTO. If you're in PTO, please raise your hand. They set up the chairs and they have done a lot of things to help with this. And then we have parent volunteers that actually did the tuning of the violins. Mr. Servillo and his gang of uh, folks, if you can raise your hand, if, if we can give them a round of applause. And once again, I want to thank all of our teachers. They have come up to me all the time, and they say, you know what, Miss Maxson is a saint. <laughs> she is kind. The way she talks to the kids, full of respect at all times, she is. 
So on behalf of the parents, our students, and our teachers, I would like to present her with a bouquet of flowers. And one of, all, one of our all-star plaques. So I'm going to present that to her. You're welcome. Dr. Hadwin around. So if Dr. Hadwin can come up here for a second. I know he's hiding somewhere, but this is my chance uh, to kind of get Dr. Hadwin up here. Where is he? Ah, here he comes. Hey guys, let's help him up here. He's not the youngest guy. <laughs> okay, so about, how long have you been in the district, Dr. Hadwin? Three and a half years ago, Dr. Hadwin came into the district, and one thing that he challenged principals and educational leaders in our school is what type of enrichment are we giving students? What is happening to our schools? There's math, there's reading going on, but are we allowing them to sing? Are we allowing them to play music? Are we allowing them to make movies? And boys and girls, to be honest with you, that is the soul of a school. When you walk into a school and you hear music, and you hear people singing, and you see people creating, that is the soul of a school. And the sad thing is, when people see that type of education, they think you're at a private school. But I want to say, we've changed things in Santa Ana on how we're doing things. Our students deserve to have the arts, they need to play music, they need to make films, and they need to draw. So on behalf of our school, for the small amount that um, we have been instrumental in providing arts to the school, I want to give Dr. Haglin it's one of our Henninger Pride stars, because in Henninger, we believe in respect, responsibility, and effort. That's right. So on behalf of Dr. Hagelin, I would like to present him with that and thank him very, very much. So at this time, one of the students, when he first came out, he said, hey, Mr. Skelly, we're still getting recess, right? So... Boys and girls, please look, oh, parents, can we give our students one more round of applause? That was phenomenal. And on behalf of the students, so boys and girls, at this time, please look to your teachers, and I know you're going to go back to your classroom as orderly as you came. And Ms. Max, Max had just whispered in my ear, the rest position. Parents, let's give them a round of applause as they head out. My name is Joseph Kay. I'm the orchestra teacher at Santa Ana High School. But today we're across the street at Henninger Elementary where Miss Maxson and 668 Henninger students all played their violins. Uh, it's our first performance here. Uh, this is one of the visions that we had with the VAPA strategic plan that we came up with a few years back. Uh, and with LCAP funds and great administration here in the district, we're able to make a Suzuki school here at Henniger Elementary. So that means all kids from first grade through sixth, uh, fifth grade are receiving violin instruction weekly, twice a week at that. Um, and the kids all basically learn from Miss Maxson how to hold, how to play, and uh, we look forward to seeing this program grow and seeing the, the curriculum develop over the next several years. So it was a fantastic event and great job Miss Maxson and Henninger All-Stars. Good morning, my name is Joyce Maxson, elementary music teacher Henninger Elementary, Suzuki Violin. Me and my students are so, so proud that we presented a concert with nearly 700 violins from grades one through grade five. So everybody got to play, everyone was included. Let me introduce you to my fifth graders here. Hi, my name is Noemi Calderon. Hi, my name is Eileen Avaneda. Hi, my name is Johanna Sanchez. Hi, my name is Cecilia Campos. Hi, my name is Valeria Montoya. Hi, my name is Yadira Sanchez. Hi, my name is Jordan Crossman. And so these are students that excelled in violin, and as you can see, we're very proud of them. 
I loved teaching the Suzuki program this year because it gave a chance for everyone to play violin. Plus, in the Suzuki tradition, the first goal, the very first goal, was for our children to be happy children. Are you happy? Yes. That was the first goal. The second goal was to become a better human being by playing music and understanding art. And I think that we are building better human beings. And our third goal is a very important goal, is to play the violin and to be good violin players and to love our violin. Do you love your violin? Yes. Oh good, they love their violin too. This year was our very first year. It was a lot of work getting it started, getting all the violins in the hands of the many children, 25 classes from first through fifth, and they meet twice a week, so it's 50 classes a week. Next year, these students will move on to sixth grade, and the children will continue in first through fifth, playing even more complicated songs as each year goes by. I'm so proud to be here at Henninger Elementary, and I thank you for your attention to the arts and to music and to children. What is your name? Valeria Montoya. Valeria, what have you enjoyed this year about violin playing at Henninger Elementary? Um, I like teaching the, the, the younger kids of how, to, <laughs> of how to play the violin. And I like learning the complicated songs for honor orchestra. Oh, I understand that in honor orchestra, it's difficult music, right? And how did you learn such difficult songs? Well, my friends helped me read the notes, how to read the notes. So now that you know how to read music, you can read any song t now, right? Yes. Hmm. And so she likes teaching the littler ones. All right, how many of you like teaching the littler ones? We had a lot of volunteers this year to teach younger kids and you do a great job of learning. All right, let's get our next, our next interviewee. Thank you, Valeria, you did a great job. Come on over. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan Crossan. Well, good morning, Jordan. So, Jordan, this year you've been studying violin in Ms. Menegini's class. What have you enjoyed this year? Uh, probably the chance to actually play the violin because most kids aren't able to in school. So you enjoyed the chance. Yes. Was it, was it at any time difficult or frustrating? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes it was frustrating. So how did you do it when you found out, uh-oh, this is hard? What did you do? I just kept practicing. <laughs> kept practicing. <laughs> That's the way. All right, and uh, do you think you would like to play an instrument in the future? Yes, definitely. Yeah, what, do you, what kind of instrument do you think you'd like to play? I've actually always wanted to play the saxophone. Saxophone. Yeah. All right, I think we have some saxophones in Santa Ana Unified School District, so your dream might come true. Thank you. Good morning. Good What's morning. your name? Yadira Sanchez. Hey, Yadira. It's been a pleasure teaching you this year in Mrs. Menegini's fifth grade class. Tell us some things that you remember about the fun, the difficulties, the joy. What happened? I remember throughout the year that many kids were having trouble learning the violin, but I really admired that they just kept on persevering. They showed effort yeah. and they didn't give up. What did you find that was uh, the most fun and the most difficult? I loved playing um, Dr. Suzuki because it was really challenging to learn it. I just loved playing that song. Uh -huh. Yes. I love watching you play the violin. You have a beautiful position, beautiful posture. All right, well, what do you think you might do in the future with music? Um, this opened my mind to try out more by, um, more instruments. I would like to play the piano in the future. Oh, piano in the future, sounds good. Well, thank you, interview students. I'm really glad we got a chance to talk. We 